Hi everyone, Shane Armand Rowe here. If you're dying to do some Nintendo DS emulation on your Steam Deck, you may be in for a disappointment. While it, the touchscreen sort of works with your finger, it certainly doesn't work with any stylus I've ever tried. But will the Steam Deck OLED with its new 180 millisecond touchscreen polling solve the problem? Let's check it out together, stick around. All right, so let's get started with the LCD Steam Deck. Here we are in Pack Picks, and you can see that there seems to be sort of a lag in the touchscreen. Now, when you're using your finger, if you're good enough to draw a Pac Man, unlike me here, you can make it work, but you have to kind of draw a little bit slower sometimes to make that work. And you can see I struggle sometimes, even with my fingers, to get the proper uh, swiping or drawing. This is a really good game to test this sort of thing on. So just to kind of show you again, let's move that up a little bit. Now we're gonna use a stylus. So this is a standard capacitive stylus. This should work. And as you can see, it doesn't. It's completely useless. Obviously, if you use a hard uh, tip, that's not gonna work either. So I even got one of these guys, these ones with the little extra uh, tip on it, and it doesn't do anything at all. So. Those of you who keep asking on Reddit, what stylus can I use? The answer is none of them. You're using your finger, which of course blocks the whole screen. And even then, you have to really sort of use it slowly in order to, uh, to get it to register properly. It can be a real pain to do it this way too. Packpix is one of my favorite games on the DS. It was one of the early games and, you know, not being able to play this, you can see the delay in your finger when you're trying to swipe it's unbelievable but this is the game i always test everything on and when i tested it on the asus ally their touch screen was great so it got a plus in that department even though i gave it a bunch of down nudges in another department let's try kirby canvas curse this is another absolutely incredibly awesome game that i don't think ever gets enough uh, exposure so here we're still on the lcd you can see that i can draw his path but watch as I try to tap stars or try to tap the bad guys, uh, or even tapping Kirby doesn't seem to work half the time, and that's how you get him to attack. So it, it's very frustrating. The touch screen is so hit and miss, even with your finger, that it pretty much, in my opinion, makes this game largely unplayable on emulation here on the LCD Steam Deck. You see, I have to like triple confirm sometimes to get the... Uh, to get the finger tap to work. So this sort of shows that the Steam Deck LCD screen is absolutely fine for basic tapping evolutions, but not for uh, not for this sort of thing. Look here, even with the stylus, look at this. I mean, it's not even, it's not pulling nearly fast enough to get that stylus. And when it does, you have to draw really slow with the stylus. And it's very frustrating. Listen, the game's the game's not playable. I'm, I'm sorry. I know some people will do anything to avoid buying a new OLED. Please let me just buy an expensive stylus. I'd rather do that. But look, I mean, look, it's ridiculous. This is a ridiculous game to try to play on uh, the uh, Steam Deck. Here we are with a hard tip, and it doesn't work either. It's very unfortunate. This is such a great game, too. And I feel people are missing out on it. Last game we're going to look at is Pack and Roll. This was another great game. This one kind of works with your finger, but if you watch the trail behind your finger dragging, it's very delayed. Now watch, we'll use this. This only registers like half the time. It's absolutely, this is unplayable, right? There we go. I can kind of get it working, but you got to like shove the stylus down. You have to do it really slow. All right, now let's go over to the OLED Steam Deck. First, look at those colors. It's beautiful. All right, so now we're going to do the finger test again. The finger, the finger's drawing, you can see, listen, you can see it. <laughs> I don't have to sit here and sell it to you. You can see how much uh, better that the touch screen is reading. Now, just because I can't draw a Pac-Man doesn't mean anything, but you can see the lines, my drawing is all much more responsive here. We'll play this for just a little while. We'll also use the stylus. By the way, this is the etched screen Steam Deck. So this is the one terabyte OLED non-limited edition. So I wanted people also to be able to see when I did a lot of these videos, and that's my camera trying to 
tweak out, but you'll also see that that screen doesn't really affect the quality of the image. I know personally, I was very worried about that. All right, so let's move on to Kirby's Canvas Curse. Is it playable now? Oh, look at this. Everything actually registers when you touch it. Well, providing you actually hit it. Look at that. I'm able to draw quickly and smoothly. Look at that. Touches work like every time, providing you actually aim, right? But look at this. I mean, I have complete control. My touches are working. It, it, listen, there's a, it's a no-brainer difference here. This isn't something that's up for debate or is this a user uh, preference? No, listen, the touch screen is like, I'd say five times better on the OLED than on the LCD. I know a lot of people don't want to hear about the LCD versus OLED arguments and how much better the OLED is, but in certain cases, <laughs> listen, you can't argue with this. It's, it's plainly visible. Again, such a great game. Been a while since I've done this, though. Certainly no fault of the deck this time, just me sucking, not remembering how to play. <laughs> yeah, I highly recommend this game if you've never played it. It's amazing. Last but not least, let's look at Pack and Roll. Pack and Roll, let's see how we do here. Obviously, uh, the um, there we go, look at that. Yeah, pretty much as fast as you can swipe, he'll do it. Notice how the trail of cursors behind your finger stay with your finger. That's a really good indicator of how much lag your screen has. And of course, as long as uh, you know we're here, we might as well go ahead and check it out. Again, you can see the stars. Watch as I move them back and forth. The little cursors, they instantaneously follow your hand. Not at all like, um, like the LCD did. Listen, if you don't care about Nintendo DS or touchscreen emulation, then, you know, the OLED is not going to offer you that particular benefit. But I find this simply striking the difference, and I highly recommend it. I can confidently say that Nintendo DS emulation on the OLED Steam Deck is a much better experience, one that I could actually recommend now. I can't wait to play some Soul Bubbles, some Pack Picks, and, of course, a little bit of that Kirby's Canvas Curse. As usual, if you like what you saw, please like this video and please subscribe. While you're down there, hit that little bell and you'll get notifications of other great videos just like this one as they drop. I'm Shane Armonroe. Thanks so much for watching and take care.